Ferrari Spe is an Italian luxury sports car manufacturer based in Maranello, Italy. Founded in 1939 by Enzo Ferrari, 1898-1988, the company adopted its current name in 1945 and began producing its line of cars in 1947. Ferrari became a public company in 1960, and from 1963 to 2014, it was a subsidiary of Fiat Spie. It was spun off from Fiat's successor entity, Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, in 2016. The company currently offers a large model range which includes several supercars, grand tours, and one SUV. Many early Ferraris, dating to the 1950s and 1960s, count among the most expensive cars ever sold at auction. Owing to a combination of its cars, enthusiast culture, and successful licensing deals, in 2019 Ferrari was labeled the world's strongest brand by the financial consultancy Brand Finance. In this video, we will talk about Ferrari history. Hello and welcome to Miracle Makers. Hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for more informative and amazing videos. Let's get started. Early History Enzo Ferrari, formerly a salesman and racing driver for Alfa Romeo, founded Scuderia Ferrari, a racing team, in 1929. Originally intended to service gentlemen drivers and other amateur racers, Alfa Romeo's withdrawal from racing in 1933, combined with Enzo's connections within the company, turned Scuderia Ferrari into its unofficial representative on the track. Alfa Romeo supplied racing cars to Ferrari, who eventually amassed some of the best drivers of the 1930s and won many races before the team's liquidation in 1937. Ferrari Driver Academy Aside from an abortive effort in 1940, Ferrari began racing sports cars in 1947, when the 125 S won six out of the ten races it participated in. Ferrari continued to see similar luck in the years to follow. By 1957, just ten years after beginning to compete, Ferrari had won three World Sports Car Championships, seven victories in the Mil Miglia, and two victories at the 24 Hours of Le Mans, among many other races. Before proceeding further, make sure to subscribe to this channel for informative and amazing videos. Supercars The 1984 288 GTO may be considered the first in the line of Ferrari supercars. This pedigree extends through the Enzo Ferrari to the LaFerrari. In February 2019, at the 89th Geneva International Motor Show, Ferrari revealed its latest mid-engine V8 supercar, the F8 Tributo. Ferrari SF90 Stradale is the first-ever Ferrari to feature PHEV, plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, architecture which sees the internal combustion engine integrated with three electric motors, two of which are independent and located on the front axle, with the third at the rear between the engine and the gearbox. Ferrari Special Projects The Special Projects Program, also called the Portfolio Coach Building Program, was launched in 2008 as a way to revive the tradition of past one-off and limited production coach-built Ferrari models, allowing clients to work with Ferrari and top Italian coach builders to create bespoke bodied models based on modern Ferrari road cars. Engineering and design is done by Ferrari, sometimes in cooperation with external design houses like Pininfarina or Fioravanti, and the vehicles receive full homologation to be road legal. Since the creation of Ferrari's in-house styling center in 2010 though, the focus has shifted away somewhat from outside coach builders and more towards creating new in-house designs for clients. New Ferrari DVEOP Man Cities Ferrari isn't planning to produce a completely different car this season and will focus on extracting the potential of its current Formula One concept despite Carlos Sainz's recent claim that the development capacity of Red Bull's car is higher. Ferrari has yet to claim a podium finish in 2023 and has scored only 26 points, its worst haul after three races of a season of the V6 turbo hybrid era that started in 2014. While problems unrelated to pace, such as the five-second penalty that cost Carlos Sainz fourth place in Australia that the team is seeking to have reviewed and power unit issue, have contributed to this, it's clear Ferrari needs to make improvements if it's to mount a serious challenge to Red Bull. 
If you've enjoyed this journey through the evolution of Ferrari, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. We'll continue to bring you more exhilarating explorations of automotive history and the latest developments in the world of supercars. Join our community of car enthusiasts and let's keep the spirit of Ferrari alive. Thank you for your support, and until next time, stay driven!